when you were shot, when your when you were shot, when your mother's house was shot up, what were you doing before the house got shot up? I was standing in the house. Okay. Do you remember what else happened that day? No. No. Now, when we left off, we were talking about Adrian B. Um, you said you had been to the house. You thought it was Buck Buck's house, but um, where Adrian's um, spot on Macon Drive. Yes. What type of spot was it? It was a spot. When you say a spot, what do you mean? <clears throat> like a, a house. Was it, did anything happen in that house besides people sleeping? Mm, parties. Okay. Were they after hour parties or what kind of parties? It was just parties. I don't know what hour it was. Okay. Did anything else happen at that house? They sold food. I remember that. Had you ever been in a car or driven with Adrian B? I don't understand what you're asking. Sure. Have you ever been in a car with Adrian B? I don't remember being in a car with him. You don't remember being in a car with him? Okay. Frederick Prothero, do you know who he is? Yeah. Okay. What did you, did you call him Fred, Frederick Prothero? Fred. Okay. Did you call him anything else? Just Fred. Okay. And how long did you know um, Mr. Prothero? Um, not long. I just heard about him, and then he had got out of jail. Was he older or younger than you? Older. How much older? Do you remember? I don't know his age, but he was older than me. Had you ever been in a car with him? No. Now, you talked about um, the fact that you would rob people. When did you start robbing people? At what age? I can't remember what age I was. Have you been caught for every robbery you've done? Don't answer that. Rephrase that. Your Honor, we would be given any type of use of immunity. If I'm sorry? Anything we pass the statute of limitation, we'd be given a use immunity. I, or... I don't care. Just don't. He's not going to answer that question. Okay. You can rephrase the question, but not going to answer that question. The robberies that you've done, have you um, committed them with other YSL members? I already answered that. The one that I got caught with, the one I went to prison for. Was that a robbery? That you went to prison for? That was for? a crime, I don't know. I'm talking specifically about robberies. Ask the question again? Sure. With the robberies that you have committed, have you committed any robberies with any other YSL members? No. Have you ever committed robberies with other people? Yes. Are you familiar with a person by the name of Donovan Thomas Jr.? I heard that name before. Okay, how have you heard of that name? This trial, this case. Okay. Prior to this case, had you heard of his name? That name, no. Okay. What name do you know of? Nut. Okay. And is that what you called him? Yeah. How do you know Nut? From being out, club, and stuff. Okay. Did you have a relationship with Nut? Uh, I want to say it was a relationship. We knew each other. He had a relationship with my uh, kid's mother. What type of relationship did he have with, his, with your child's mother? They, I think they were from the same neighborhood. <clears throat> Is this the same child's mother who's friends with Shay? Yeah. 
And did Shay grow up with your child's mom in that same neighborhood? Do you know? I don't, I don't know. We live in the same neighborhood. To your knowledge, was Big Nut or Nut, as you called him, um, associate or affiliate with any gangs? I, I just, I just seen him at the club and stuff. I don't know. Okay. So I answer? never hung with him, so I don't know what he is. Would call himself. Is your answer that you don't know what he is? I don't know. Okay. Do you recall having an interview with um, Detective Gaither and Detective um, Dennis at the Atlanta Police Department in August of 2016? Yeah, I recall the interview. Okay. And do you recall during that interview when they asked you about Nut, you told them that Nut was the head of If Gang? I would have said anything to get back home. Huh? Would there be any reason why telling the police that Nut was the head of If Gang would get you out of jail? That's probably something I heard from somebody else. Okay. But back in August 2016, you told the detectives that he was a part of If Gang. I don't remember saying that. <clears throat> Are you aware of his death in January of 2015? Yeah, he did. All right. Where were you back in January of 2015? At Grady Hospital. Why were you at Grady Hospital? A fractured spinal cord. How did you get your fractured spinal cord? Car accident. Do you remember when the car accident was? Not the exact day, but it was early January. It was in early January. How long were you in Grady um, with your fractured spine? I don't remember how long I was in there. You don't remember how long? No, I remember seeing that on on the TV, though, on the news. So you saw his murder on the news while you were in the hospital? I saw his pictures. They say he did. I don't, I don't never seen nobody get murdered. I can't hear you. I never seen nobody get murdered. I seen them say he got murdered at his picture on the news. Okay. He said you don't remember when you came out of the hospital in 2015. No, I don't. I don't remember the exact day. Do you remember the month? It was that same month. So you got out of the hospital that same month in January 2015? Yeah. Back in 2015, were you aware of any beef or disagreement between If Gang and YSF? If I was, it was something I heard. I ain't like witness no beef or nothing like that going on. Okay. Do you recall that same interview in August? I think I may have said 2016, but I mean 2015. Faces. I'll sustain the objection. You want, you want to try and do something and get something else? You're right. Yeah. Okay. He didn't say that's what he heard in his interview, so I wanted to confront him with what he said. All right. Do you... No. Sir. It's still hearsay. But... There's higher statements that are based on hearsay. Your Honor. Do you have any it's not based on hearsay because he didn't... That's why he has no personal knowledge. No, he said he doesn't recall... Okay, we'll ask him that, and then we'll see whether or not he does or not. Okay. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Thomas during the interview that there was beef? Not that you heard about the streets, but that there was beef between If Gang and Slime, and that we were beefing. I don't remember. If Gang. I don't remember saying it. Okay. I'm going to rule the objection, sir. In August of 2015, did you tell Detective Gaither and Detective Bitt Detective Dennis, that we as a slime were beefing with Ifgang. I 
do you also remember saying in that same interview that uh, All right, come on up. in the jail that you were at, which was the Fulton County Jail, that YSL members were on plates because of the beef between If Gang and YSL? I don't recall saying that. I don't recall what I said yesterday. Okay. 
what does the term being on a plate mean? Have you heard that term before? I thought that mean like beef. And when you say beef, what, what do you mean? Two people that don't like each other. And there's only have to be two people that don't like each other? I ain't understand what you asked me right there. You said it was two people who don't like each other. Does it always have to be two individual people? I don't know. I ain't made the definition of it. I ain't made the word. Okay, but what's your understanding? I just told you, two people disagree on something. And for you, it's only two individuals, like you and I beefing. It can't be two groups beefing? I don't know. I don't understand what you asked me to say. Now, I want to take you to April of 2015, specifically around April 26th of 2015. Were you present at the Compound Nightclub with other members of YSL? In April? I've been in the Compound a couple times. Were you present at the Compound with other YSL members when Lil Wayne was performing at the Compound? Yes. Who did you go to the club with? I can't remember who all day it was. A lot of us. Okay. When you say a lot of us, name some of the people you were at the club with. I can't remember. It was a lot of us, though. Do you remember anybody? I just with? remember standing in the crowd. Do you recall in that same interview? in August of 2015 with Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, and Mr. Hudson stating that you went to the club with Dolly, Dora, Buck Buck, and you all arrived there in a Jeep together? I don't remember saying that. You don't remember saying that? No. And that also there was Shannon, they were all there at the compound together? I don't remember saying that. Okay. It was a lot of us though. Do you recall um, in this interview saying that you had a gun when you went to the compound nightclub? I always, I always kept a gun. Okay. And did a police officer see you with a gun that night? That same officer. Was it Detective Dennis? I don't know his name. Know. Do you remember what you did once he saw you with that gun? I ran. Okay. And what did you, what if anything did you do with the gun? I left it right there. Where did you leave it? I, I, didn't, I know it wasn't on me when I stopped running. Do you recall where you left it? No. Nah. Okay. Do you recall in that interview in August 2016 saying that you had put the gun on the wheel of the car? Of a car? No. Nah. <clears throat> Why did you all go to the compound that evening? I don't remember the same reason we go to a club any other night. The club. <clears throat> Was that the only reason why you were going to the club? To my knowledge. Were you going to do anything in the club towards Little Wayne that night when you all went to the club? That man like the president. How are you going to do something to Lil Wayne? Okay. Do you recall in that August of 2015 interview stating that y'all were going to go in and maybe boo at him or maybe create some type of havoc inside of the club while no, he was performing? I don't recall saying that. Once you took off running after the police saw you with the gun, what did you do? I don't remember. I know I left, though. I think I... I don't know if I called somebody or I paid somebody I just seen. I, I know I left the vicinity, though. Do you recall telling the detectives in that August interview that you got into another vehicle, not the vehicle that you all came in, and end up going to another club, I think the Blue Ivory? I don't remember that. 
I thought I went home or with a female to a house or something. I don't remember going back to no club. I was shook after that. Do you also remember saying that after y'all left the club, you all went back to the studio? No. Do you recall seeing Shannon um, at the compound that evening? No, I don't recall seeing No, that was so long ago. What about Roscoe? Do you recall seeing Roscoe at the compound that evening? No. Do you recall telling um, Detective Gaither and Dennis that you saw um, both Roscoe and Shannon at the compound that evening? And that at some point Shannon got into Dolly's truck and they drove that truck and left the compound? No. Nah, nah. How could I see somebody leave if I already left? When um, this particular incident occurred or day occurred at the compound, was Mr. Williams with you all at the um, compound? I don't recall. I don't know. Do you recall if you spoke to Mr. Williams that night um, at all? while you were either at the compound or later on that evening at the compound. Where did you say it was? In 2015, April of 2015. I don't even think we were talking then. Do you recall telling detectives that you spoke to Mr. Williams and he was upset with you because you had brought Dora and Dolly to the club that evening? That sounds all right. He probably, he was mad at me for doing a lot of stupid stuff back then. Okay. But specifically, he was upset that evening because you had brought Dora and Dolly out there. Uh, I don't remember that happening, but that sounds about right. Why do you keep a gun on you? I don't keep a gun on. Back then, you said you always used to have a gun. Keep oh, back gun. then. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. We're going to get. Why did you always keep a gun on you back then? I don't know. I just did. Why? There was no particular reason. I just kept a gun on me to protect myself. Was it because of the beef you were having with FK? I kept a gun before I even was what I said or heard of FK or anything like that. Did you ever gain access into the compound club that night before taking off running before the police saw you? Did you ever get inside of the club that evening? I don't recall getting inside the club. I just remember running, <laughs> being tired from running. At any point that evening, do you remember YSL members going near the tour bus of Little Wayne. I ain't even seen no tour. Now I wanna take you to April 12th of 2016, 2015, excuse me. Did you I think earlier we talked about you pleading to participate in criminal street gang and an attempted murder. Do you recall doing that and going to prison? Yes.
permission to approach your honor? Yeah. I'll show you what's the mark of State's Exhibit 18, Charlie Charlie. Do you see your name on State's Exhibit 18, Charlie Charlie? Yes. Okay. And do you see an indictment number on there? Yes. What's that indictment number? Uh, 15 S. Show you can you speak up? Hold on. Can you all speak up, please? Yes. What's that indictment number? 15 SC 138234. And, and looking at that front page, does it show the, the crimes of which you were convicted of? Yeah. Okay. And are, are those the crimes for which you went to prison for in 2016? Yes. You're right, this time a state like the tender states is 18 Charlie Charlie as a self authenticating document. Okay. Any objection to 18 Charlie Charlie? I, I don't know. Any objection to 18 Charlie Charlie? Certified copy of the conviction. What were you convicted of? Participating in criminal street gang, aggravated battery, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Okay. And you were convicted of uh, participation in criminal street gang activity. What gang were you a part of? Blood. Was it YSL? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't you don't recall? They didn't ask me that when I pleaded guilty. They didn't ask me that when I pleaded guilty. I thought they were saying I was in blood. Okay. Do you remember the facts that led to that conviction? No. No, that's what I'm looking over. I don't remember all that. I see the counts, but I don't really like record. Like, I don't remember. <laughs> I, rem I see the counts on it, though. Okay. So you don't remember what happened on April 12, They're like bits and pieces though. I can't it was a long time ago. Okay. What are the bits and pieces that you remember? <clears throat> I remember like going to court for it and seeing the guy who got shot and all that. It was traumatizing. So you say you only remember what happened after you got arrested? Like as of right now, yeah. Okay. So is it your testimony today that you don't remember anything that happened on the evening of April 12, 2015? Like bits and pieces, I just said that. Okay. What are the bits and pieces that you remember about what happened on April 12th, 2015? I just remember, like, pulling up to the stove. Okay. 
Well, it happened. What, <clears throat> what store did you pull up to? I can't remember the name of the store. It was a gas station. Okay. Do you remember where the gas station was? No. Do you remember what part of the city the gas station was? No. It was bank off Cleveland Avenue. It was off Cleveland. Did you go to the gas station with anyone? Yeah. Who? Me and Nard. Okay. And when you say Nard, who are you speaking of? Nard. Does Nard have a real name? I don't know his real name by heart, though. Okay. How long have you known Nard? What you mean, like in 2015? In 2015, how long has you known Nard? Not long. Probably about a year. Only a year. Permission to approach? Mm -hmm. I'm showing you what's the market says you've been 23 Charlie Charlie. Do you recognize the person that says this is 23 Charlie Charlie? Yes. Who's that? The Nard. Is that the same Nard that you came to the, the get, came to the store with back yes. in April 12, 2015? That's the same person? Yes. You are this time the state would like to admit state's exhibit 23 Charlie Charlie as an evidence. Any objections to state's 23 Charlie Charlie? I don't have any. Are you safe to Now, when you got, now, when you got to the store with Nard, do you remember where you were prior to getting to the store? Um, I just remember we pulled up to the store. Do you remember um, in the interview back in August, of 2015, and in a proffer that you did in February of 2016, um, telling um, Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis, as well as Detective Gaither, Dennis, and a prosecutor, that before you got to the sit-go, or before that you got to the gas station, you were at Hot Rod Spot on off of Browns Mill Road. I don't recall saying that. Do you recall telling the detectives that while you were at Hot Rod's house, it was you, Nard, Fanny, hey, um, Detective Gaither, and Detective Dennis, as well as Detective Gaither, Dennis, and a prosecutor, that before you got to the I hear my voice. Um, that initially, when in August of 2015, you said it was Nard, Fanny, and you were at Hot Rod's house prior to going to the gas station and then February, you said that there might have been a J at the house as well um, before y'all left to go to the gas, the gas station. I don't recall. So I told you I would say anything. I would have cut my arm off and give that to my son. Okay. Now, do you remember what you were doing at Hot Rod's house prior to going to the gas station? No, I don't. That's too far to be trying to remember. Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, as well as the prosecutor, that while at Hot Rod's house, Fatty had came over in a new, I think you may have said a hot box, which was a stolen car, uh, and y'all were talking at the house prior to you leaving to go to the gas station? No, I don't remember that. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, um, and the prosecutor later on in February that while you were at the house, that Nard received a phone call and that Nard told you, threw you a chopper and told you, let's ride? No, that sounds like a movie. All right. Do I told you I was high back then. I would have said anything. Okay. Do you know what a chopper is? 
on top of them. Yeah. There's a lot of different meanings for chopper. A helicopter, a motorcycle, a gun. A gun that's a chopper. Do you know what type of gun that is? Huh? It's a chopper. Is it a small gun, a long gun, a short gun? What kind they of gun? They got all sizes of chopper. Sorry? They have all sizes. Okay. Now, do you recall telling um, Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, that once a um, NAR said, let's ride, you all hopped in the white Dodge truck and drove to the Sitco gas station? No. And that NAR was driving, you were in the passenger seat, and Fatty was in the back seat? No, I don't remember I'm saying that. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, at the August 2015 interview, as well as in the proffer in the February interview, that while be, while on the way to the gas station, that Nard was on the phone with someone? No, I don't remember that. <clears throat> and that they were on, yo, you, you all were on the way up to the gas station? I don't remember that. Do you recall Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis asking you whether or not you asked why we were going or what we had to do? Do you recall saying that? I don't recall. They asked me a lot of stuff. Bro. Do you recall telling them that NAR didn't say why you had to go? He just handed you a chopper. You assumed there was something going down. You thought you thought he you were going to get a catch or thought you were going to hit a lick. That's what you thought was going to happen. It sounded like me. I'm always was trying to get a lit by then. You were always trying to get it. Okay. Now, do you recall telling Investigator Gates and Investigator Dennis when you got to the Sitco gas station, you all pulled up to the pump and you saw Bentley? Nah, I don't recall saying that. Who's Bentley? An older cat from Cleveland. And is it the same Bentley we talked about earlier who's a part of YSL? Hmm? Is this the same Bentley we talked about earlier this morning who's a part of YSL? I think I know more than one Bentley though. Okay. <clears throat> Come and show for I'll show you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 24 Charlie Charlie. Do you recognize State's Exhibit 24 Charlie Charlie? Yes. Who is that? That Bentley. Okay. Is that a Bentley that you knew back in 2015? Yeah. All right. Is that a fair and accurate depiction of Bentley um, back when you, um, back in 2015? Yeah. You're right, that's how I say with like the tender states exhibit 24 Charlie Charlie into evidence. Hey, Jason says Charlie, uh, 24 Charlie Charlie. I'm the half of Mr. Williams. I say 24 Charlie Charlie. Permission to publish, Ron. Thank you. And is that who you call Bentley? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you recall? You said you were at the store. You remember being at the store. Do you remember what happened while you were at the store? I don't. Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis? That once you all got to the store, you pulled up to a gas pump, you got out of the passenger seat, NAR got out of the driver's seat, and when you got there, you immediately, with your chopper, ran to the car in which the individuals that you were going to deal with were, that you went immediately to that vehicle. Oh, Constant, that sounds like a movie, too. Do you recall them saying after you walked up to the vehicle, they rolled their windows down, the passenger side window down, and after they, God bless you, after they rolled the passenger side window down, you backed back from the car 
and went back to the doorway of the gas station. I don't recall saying that. Do you recall them showing you pictures in that interview of surveillance images from the Sitco gas station on April 12, 2015? I think they showed me a lot of pictures in that interview. Mm. Okay. I'm going to first show you what's been marked as six exhibit nine, C, nine Charlie Charlie through 15 Charlie Charlie. I want you to take a moment and look at nine Charlie Charlie through 15 Charlie Charlie. Looking at nine Charlie Charlie, fifteen Charlie Charlie. One, do you see yourself in those images captured at nine Charlie Charlie through fifteen Charlie Charlie? Yes. You say yes. Okay. Do you recall those being the pictures that were shown to you while you were being interviewed at the Atlanta Police Department in August of twenty fifteen? I don't remember that. Okay, but do you recall seeing yourself in yeah, those pictures? Yeah, I remember the pictures. Huh? Do you see um, Bentley in those pictures? Mm, yeah, in a couple of them. In a couple. Yeah. Okay. Do you also see Nard in some of those pictures? Yes. All right. And those those images appear to be or look like the store that you were in front of. Let me ask you this. Is there a date on those pictures? Yeah. Photo 2015. Okay. And I want you to look at... Your indictment. What is the date indicated in any of those um, counts in the indictment in which um, you pled guilty to? Probably 12, 2015. Is that the same date as it's in those surveillance images? Mm -hmm. Okay. And does that appear to be a fair and accurate image of what you look like on April 12, 2015? I don't know what I look like right then, but that's me in the picture. But that's you in the picture. Yeah. All right. You're right. This time, statement like the 10 to 6, is in 9, Charlie, Charlie, to 15, Charlie, Charlie, and 7. <coughs> Thank you, guys. Now, I'm also going to show you 20 Charlie Charlie, 21 Charlie Charlie, and 22 Charlie Charlie. First, I want to start with 22 Charlie Charlie. Do you see yourself in 22 Charlie Charlie? Man, that picture's so blurry. I can't, you can't, you can't even tell who that is. Okay. So let's look at 14 Charlie Charlie. Do you see yourself in 14 Charlie Charlie? Yeah. He said it was so, go ahead, repeat what your last answer was. 
About 22, Charlie. Charlie, what did you say? Oh, it's so blurry. You can't even see who in there. Did you hear him? <laughs> Looking at 14, Charlie, Charlie, do you see you? This one. Yeah, yeah. right there. What are you wearing? It looked like a blue coat. Okay. It's like, does it look blue to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. The image in 22, Charlie, Charlie, can you tell what color coat that person is wearing? It's so blurry, I can't see the color though. You see what I'm saying? Okay, let me ask you. Are you familiar with the image of what's contained within 22 Charlie Charlie? No. Okay. On 22 Charlie Charlie, what is the date on 22 Charlie Charlie? April 12th, 2015. Okay. And is there a time stamp on there? Charlie Charlie, can you tell me? 21, 43, 50. Okay. Do you see? Twenty one forty three fifty. Are you familiar? Do you um do you know military time? No, no we've been to the military. Okay. Published 14 Charlie Charlie. Looking at 14 Charlie Charlie, do you see where you are in 14 Charlie Charlie? Yes. And where are you? Same thing. Behind the door, the dude holding the door. Look like, look like he's holding the door. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Okay. And do you recognize anybody else in this picture? That's a, I don't know, none of them, but um, Nard right there. Is this Nard right here? Yeah. Okay. But you don't know any of these other people? No. All right. Let's look at 15, Charlie, Charlie. Do you recognize anyone who's in 15, Charlie, Charlie? That's the same people, right? Is nah, it? That Bentley right there. Like, yeah. That's Bentley right here, yeah. okay? What about, is that the individual, I'm sorry, for the record, in the white t-shirt? Uh-huh. Some black and white Jordan? Yes. Right. 16 Charlie Charlie. And I'm sorry, stay up 15 real quick. Are you also still in this image as well? Yes. Right. 16 Charlie Charlie. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. That's, that's, the, that's the blue one. 13, Charlie, Who's there at 13, Charlie Charlie? They're not. What does he have in his hand? A gun. Would you call that a chopper? Yeah, it looked like a, a chopper. It looks like a chopper? Yeah. Does that look like the store that you went to on April 12, 2015? I don't remember how it looked, but I'm at the store right now. Okay. Say that one more time. I said, I don't remember how it looked. Okay. Now, at the store, do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Detective T Dennis that after you ran up to the other car, that you walked back to the door, and you kind of motioned for um, Hot Rod and Bentley to come out of the store. It looked like I was coming out of the store with them. 
Do you recall telling to get this? You kind of motion because they look scared. So you kind of motion for them to come out the store as if they didn't have to be scared anymore because you were there. No, I don't remember. Do you remember what you did after you? Do you remember leaving the store? No. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that once Bentley and Hot Rod got out the store, that you and Nard got back into the vehicle, Nard being the driver and um, you being the passenger, you don't remember if Fatty ever even got out the car, and that you all left, as well as Hot Rod and Bentley got in their car and y'all all left the gas station? I don't know, I remember that. See? That was so long ago, I don't remember. Do you remember where you may have went after you left the gas station? No. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, as well as the prosecutor in February of 2016, that after leaving the store, that you saw the guys in the blue car go down Jonesboro Road, and you all went down Browns Mill Road, and you end up seeing the blue car at a stop sign. You couldn't remember what the cross street was, but it was a cross street that crossed Browns Mill and Jonesboro Road. Oh, that's why I would say anything. But you did plead guilty to this crime that we're discussing. Yeah. Correct? Do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Dennis that Nard, when Nard saw the car stopped at the stop sign, that he said, oh, there go them niggas, and that he kind of turned, and Bentley and Hot Rod drove around y'all vehicle, because they were following behind you, they went straight, and you went over to the vehicle to where the blue car was. Do you remember that? I don't remember that. Do you remember then telling Detective Gaither Detective Dennis in August, as well as telling Detective Gaither, Dennis, and the prosecutor in February, that Nard then rolled down his window, took the chopper, and you actually crossed your hands, and that he shot into the vehicle multiple times, about three to four times, inside of the vehicle with the chopper. And then at the shooting, Y'all took off and y'all drove. I don't remember saying that. Do you remember Detective Gaither showing you pictures of the victim with half of his head cut off? Yeah, I remember. You remember that? Yeah. And do you remember telling Detective Gaither that it was Nar who shot half his head off? I don't remember saying that, though. Do you remember telling Gaither, Detective Dennis, and the prosecutor in February that the reason why you went over there was because Bentley and Rock and, and Hot Rock said that they were in trouble. They thought that, that they thought that these four young men were trying to follow them. I don't know. <laughs> None of that. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis in August, and then the prosecutor along with Gaither and Dennis in February, that after Nard shot the victim or shot into the vehicle, that um, you all went back to the house on Hot Rod's house? I don't recall saying that. Do you recall where Hot Rod's house 
I don't even remember no last name. That sound like a a toy car. Did you know someone by the name of Rodney Allison? No. Did you know someone by the name of Rodney Allison? No. Do you remember describing excuse me, Ryan's house as kind of a trap house? You you get some you get your drugs there sometimes that you would take. Yeah. Do you remember telling Gaither and this, because they asked you where was this house located that you kind of went through, it was off of Bromac, and then you could turn on another street, and it was a brown house with a gate with a, with a slope down driveway. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you remember them asking you, um, how Thug felt about you engaging with Nard and Bentley during this time? No, I don't remember. I don't remember. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that Thug was mad at you because you looked at him like a brother and that you had done so much for Thug that your only job at that point in 2015 was to watch his mother and his two sisters, Dolly and Dora. No, I don't want to call saying I had to watch them. And that he wanted you to kind of lay low. That don't even sound right. <laughs> Do you recall you telling them that Doug said he would take care of the clothes, the shoes, and the house so long as you protected them because you had already done enough for him? No, I don't know nothing about that. He was already taking care of family. Do you recall ever speaking with Nard or Bentley um, after the shooting at all? No, I don't. Do you, let me ask you this, back in 2015, in April of 2015, did you have that YSL tattoo on your face? I think so. Do you know if you had the snake and slap emoji on your face at that time? <clears throat> I think so. <clears throat> now, do you know why you were so willing to just grab a chopper and go up to the Citgo gas station without any questions asked to protect Bentley? Probably high. It, it sound like a movie. But high or not, did you see yourself in those images at the Zippo gas station? Yeah. And in those Sitgo gas station pictures, and I'll poke them up, did you have, did you wear a mask at all when this occurred? I don't remember what I had on. Okay. Look at those uh, surveillance videos. I just seen a blue jacket. I don't know. That's all I can see is it's blurry. Okay. <clears throat> I just see my face in a blue jacket. Okay. First, look at that 14 charge, Charlie. You have that one in your hands? 14? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in my hand. Do you have any? Do you have a mask on? No, I can see my face. And look at that 15. Charlie, Charlie? Do you have any type of mask on? No. And a 16 Charlie, Charlie? All right. So. I don't even think that's okay. I don't got no 16. 
Now, when you are meeting with Detective Gaither, Detective Tennis, in August, well, wait a minute. Did you first meet with Detective Gaither and Dennis first in July of 2015 when you were arrested? I don't know when I met with them. I remember meeting with them, though. Say that again. I don't know when it was I met with them, but I remember, like, meeting with them. Did you meet with them twice at Atlanta Police Department? I don't know how many times it was. I remember, like, meeting detectives. <clears throat> when you met with the detectives, was Mr. Williams present in the room with you when you met with the detectives? Huh? Was Mr. Jeffrey Williams in the room with you when you met with detectives? No. Was Shannon in the room with you when you met the detectives? No. What about when you did the proffer agreements? Was Mr. Williams in the room with you when you did the proffer agreements? What did that mean? When you were in that room with the prosecutor, Gaither, Dennis, and you were in this Before room, I pleaded guilty? Before you pleaded guilty. Um, no. And when you spoke to Detective Gaither and Dennis, both in February, excuse me, in August of 2015 and February 2016, were you able to tell them everything that happened on April 12th, 2015? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember what I told them. I told you I would have told them anything to get home to my family. You saw a person with half of his head. That's not a story, right? In the courtroom, yeah. Okay. In the courtroom, you saw that individual. Yeah. Right. And that's the individual that's in your indictment, Dexter Montgomery. I guess that's it. Okay. It's not a story that half his head is shot off. I've seen it. All right. So that's a fact. Yeah. It's not fiction. No. Right. So even if you would have said anything to get out that road, was some of the stuff you said what actually happened because you saw the person it happened to. Hmm? Huh? You keep saying that you would have said anything to get out there. Yeah. But the stuff that you said actually had a result, and that result was the person you saw in court would have his head shot off. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Um, can you dumb it down? You told, did you tell Gaither and Dennis, not once, but twice, what you knew about what happened on April 12th, 2015? I don't remember what I told them. I know I met with them, though. I'm sorry, say that one more time. I don't remember what I told them specifically, but I remember, like, meeting with them. Okay. And when you met with them, they want you to tell them the truth about what happened. Yeah, that's what they asked for. Okay. And in order to get whatever deal you want to get, you told them the truth about what happened. That day. I told them whatever I wanted to tell them to get home quicker. <laughs> I just told you that. I've been telling that all day. But whatever you told them, there was actually a person who got shot, that Nard shot. I assume. I don't know. But you pled guilty to these charges. Yes. And the charge that you pled guilty to was based upon what you told the second gate in August and in February. I don't understand. No, what you confusing me now. <clears throat> you pled guilty to these charges. Yes. You pled guilty to participation in a criminal street gang. Yes. Both you and Nard are part of YSF, the criminal street gang. Yeah, I was charged with criminal street activity before, yeah. And you were charged with Nard? Yeah. You were also charged with aggravated assault? Mm hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. And that was for. One count of shooting Dexter McDonald. Yeah. And you were also charged, I don't know if you pled to it, but you were also charged with 
shooting in a car where D'Angelo White was inside of that car. I don't even know who that is. Let me show you what's been admitted as exhibit 7BB. Do you know that individual? I've never seen him in a day in my life. you never seen him? On your indictment, is there a count for an individual by the name of D'Angelo White? No, it's a lot of counts. Uh -huh. <laughs> Count nine. Okay. And does it have an individual by the name of D'Angelo White? Yes. And you pled guilty to having a gun? Or did you plead guilty to having a gun? I just pled guilty to whatever they have ready to go home. Okay. Did you plead guilty to having a gun? Yes. Okay. Now you said you had told anything to go home. Would you have told the truth to go home? If I knew the truth, I mean. Now, Mr. Murphy, today you are not telling Ms. Jordan what you told the police back in August of 2016. Why not? I don't remember. I don't want to lie to them. Do you not remember because you have to testify in this court in front of all these individuals sitting on this side of the room? No. Did you have concerns about talking to the approach? Yes. 